358 years. That is the prison time a convicted sex offender was facing in our state. Today, a judge sentenced him to far less than that amount. But Julie Friendak breaks down his punishment and the judge's reasoning for it. I am truly remorseful for my part, my, for having these images. I'm truly remorseful for not reporting them when I should have. That's Pablo Griego addressing Judge Joseph Montano at his sentencing hearing today. He faced a maximum of 358 years in prison after being convicted on 30 counts related to possession, manufacturing, and distributing child porn. But Griego tried to make himself out as a victim as he sought a lesser sentence. I didn't manufacture all that. I didn't create that. And it's hurtful because I didn't even know those images were on that computer. I just uh, I glanced at them and, and, and you know, it, but I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know exactly what the, uh, the, it was because it, it, it's disturbing to me. Prosecutors, however, reminded the judge the evidence at trial showed something very different. Manufacturing is the copying of these images. He continued to fuel the market for these images by continuing to copy them. Just months before they hit the house on the search warrant, he was moving images on his computers. This was not located on his computer, as he says, it was located on three different devices. We had two laptops and a thumb drive. They say Griego copied child porn images, stored them in a file marked awesome, and shared them with at least one person over the internet. They say his actions ensured children would continue to be victimized. And there were 22. These kids are hurting. They're scared. Their images are being propagated and filled across a global marketplace that is absolutely hurting them. They also pointed to a journal found under Griego's mattress, which suggested Griego was fantasizing about a relationship with a young neighbor. And I quote from the notebook, I've never felt this way about a 10-year-old before. Ultimately, Judge Montano handed down the maximum sentence, but he allowed much of it to run concurrently, and he suspended half the sentence. In the end, Griego was sentenced to 34 years in prison. He will then spend between 5 and 20 years on probation and will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Julie Frendak, KOB4.